Hi students, welcome back. So in the previous video, I explained about the demand paging. Demand paging means CPU is demanding a page from in the main memory. So CPU demands page from main memory. So CPU always demands page from the main memory. So if this uh, page is not present, whatever the CPU is demanding the page, if that page is not present in the main memory, that you call it as a page fault. Okay. The demanded page is not present in the main memory. Page is not present in main memory then we call it as call it as page fault okay so this is actually the page fault so already the pages that are present in the main memory if the pages are swapped out to the disk so the Whenever the pages are swapped out, the CPU requested for the page which is already swapped out. If the page is that page is not present in the main memory. So that concept uh, you call it as page fault. So whenever the page fault is occur, operating system handles a page fault with the help of following steps. Let me write that. Page fault can be handled by operating system. With the following steps. Let me write explain about that steps. So first what it does. So the operating system. First looks at. Process control block PCB. To decide. So first the operating system. Whenever the page fault is occurred. The pro control transfers the program to the operating system. Then first the operating system. Looks at PCB to decide. Is there is any invalid reference. First, it's check is any invalid reference. If invalid reference is abort, means that uh, requested page is if it is not is there, it is invalid reference. Or else, just not in memory. If it is not present in memory, then what it do? It loads the page. So operating system looks at PCB to decide whether the page that is requesting by the CPU is invalid or just not in memory. If it is invalid reference, this it uh, aborts the program. If it is just not present in the memory, then it loads the page. How it loads the page to the main memory? Just taking the page from secondary, secondary memory and store it in the main memory. Okay. Okay. Uh, so load the page. Which page it will load? How it pay, uh, load the page in the main memory? First it gets the empty frame it just gets the empty frame from the secondary memory next swap pages swap page into frame via disk operation so with the help of the disk operations we are just swap the page into frame next reset page table to indicate the page Reset page table to indicate page. Okay, so whatever the swap page is there, so that page, uh, whenever it swapping, when it becomes a frame, so we have to reset the page table. So now in memory, now it is present in now in memory. Set valid bit is equal to validation bit is equal to V. Okay. So, after that we have to restart the instruction. Restart the instruction that caused the page fault. So, these are the steps you have to follow whenever the page fault is occurred. So, the demanded page is not present in the main memory, then the page fault is occurred. So, to overcome the page fault, we have to uh, follow these steps. So, let me explain uh, these page faults in the pictorial uh, diagrammatic representation. So, steps to handle. Steps in 
handling a page fault so how we handle the page faults let me explain so let us take suppose this is the main memory so we have to load m okay so not main memory so just uh, the cpu wants to load m so if it wants to load m first it sends the first it sends the reference the reference space which it wants to load so it sends a reference space to the page table to check whether the page is available or not so here this is the page table so the cpu wants to load m so we, first it sends the reference uh, to the page table so this is suppose it is i is there i means invalid so whatever it is requesting so that is invalid the processor uh, it is showing that is that page is not present in main memory so it sends a signal that is a two trap operating system so this is an operating system so the program transfers the control to operating system so then the process operating system is checked for check pcb why it is checking pcb the the operating system checks pcb the process control board to decide whether whatever it is sending the info uh, cpu is demanding is invalid reference is this is an invalid reference if it is an invalid reference it is aborted if it is not is invalid reference it checks if it is just not in memory okay it check the pcb it thought it just uh, not present in memory so then the control transfers to the it transfers the control to disk that is a secondary memory okay so this is a 3 page is on backing store so the demanded page is not present in main memory so then the operating system is uh, go to the disk and request for the page so whenever it requests for the page that page will be placed on physical memory sorry so this is a physical memory so it brings the free frame from disk so this is the fourth step bring in missing page missing page will be uh, taken from the secondary disk and placed it in the physical memory so this is the free frame so after that this free frame has to send to the page table so why it is sending the uh, back to the page table because it has to reset the page table whenever you reset the page table then only the cpu understand uh, that the free uh, free frame consisting of the demanded page or not okay so after uh, reset the page table this page table again sends back the signal to the cpu saying restart instruction so again you restart the instruction and demand the page so again the processor will demand the page so next time it, it should be a valid valid page will be present this is the new frame that is a demanded page so this is how the page fault will be handled so first the cpu is requested for the page so that if that page is not present uh, so the page table will handle all the information related to the main memory so if that page is not present in the page table then the signal will send to the operating system so the operating system is check pcb whether it is a valid reference or if the page is not present in main memory it's just it ask the disk to send the free frame so then the disk will send the uh, free frame and store in the physical memory and that frame will be sent to again to the page table reset page table so whenever the page table is reset with the new frame it sends the signals to the cpu to restart the instruction again means to request the again request the page the demanded page so this is about the page fault so what we will do if there is no free frames 
suppose here the disk is having the free frames so that's why it is sending the free frames and again we are storing in the page table so what happens if there is no free frames in the disk what happens if there is no free frames so what we will do so the main concept if there is no free frames are present we will do the page replacement the page replacement technique we have to follow if there is no free frames in the secondary memory so the page replacements find some page in memory but not really in use use is swap it out so that is a page replacement technique so if i find some pages in memory that is not really in use if the pages that are not really in use in memory you just swap it out so and then play uh, place a new new page in the main memory so this is a page replacement technique and it also follows suppose if there is no free frame same page may be brought into memory several times so these are the two techniques if you can you can follow if there is there are no free frames in the main memory so this is about the page fault thank you